Welcome back. This morning we're featuring our film segment, Felipe's Fix Flicks, with the one and only acclaimed movie critic, Felipe Solis. That is right, and today Felipe and I dive deeper into the movie The Fall Guys, starring Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. Check it out. In three minutes, one initiative. Welcome to another episode of Felipe's Flicks. I am joined here once again with Felipe Solis, an acclaimed film critic, and we're here to talk about the movie that we've been personally waiting for for a bit. It is The Fall Guy. Felipe, tell us more about The Fall Guy. Well, The Fall Guy seems to be the film that maybe this year in Hollywood will kick off a summer season. Will it be like last year? Well, it doesn't really matter. At this point, The Fall Guy is out there doing great and it's a tribute it's a tribute film to the 1980s classic tv shit series starring lee majors as colt Seavers, the ultimate stunt performer and also it's a tribute to all of those dosage about the power of the stunt performer and what they mean in cinema and what they mean in cinema is incredible films that were just award-winning films about the war the actors were not rolling in the dirt and taking one for the team it's the stunt performers and so this film is really a super tribute to them they were trying to kill me and not in a fun way so ryan gosling not the leading man a stunt performer but has some lucky breaks going because even the scenes too much so they have to kind of shoot around him because i mean who doesn't want to really look like Gordon gosling but anyway with that said um it's a stunt that goes very awry and the next thing you know is that this incredible stunt performer is on the way to the hospital and then we fast forward to lay at a mexican restaurant oh but who does he run into the producer who says you gotta get back of the game uh, clearly during this time uh, Ryan's character went through a great deal of health issues, broken back, and he also let that relationship go away. And so this producer makes him think that, oh, well, the director, now she's a director and she wants you back. But is that really the story? And then, oh, the main character, he's missing. Is that really the story? Who well, haven't you faced? You look terrible. You look amazing. It's a wonderful movie. It's popcorn fun. You'll get two to three bundles of it. It's under two hours. It's so much fun. It may not necessarily be for the kids. It's rated PG-13. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of a parental judgment call, I would say. Teenagers is better for the film, but a lot of fun. And Ryan Gosling, he is more. Amazing. Then enough. Philippa, thank you. They definitely uh, stick around. We have another episode of Philippa's Flicks coming your way soon.